A community leader who is building a blueprint to create a brighter future in Baltimore City. My father's plan started because a shop owner gave some kids some cash to clean up their storefront. WMR2 News Eddie Kadem live downtown tonight to show us how a couple of bucks here and there became a nonprofit now giving kids a real outlet. Eddie? Yeah, he's doing great things in his community, and it happens because these kids, the negativity becomes a normal. So he says if you reach them young, you can change that, and he's seeing that positive change make an impact in his community. The court, the court was a lot. It was cracky and lumpy. This brand new court looks this way because of an investment of time and energy from the people that live in the Penn Lucy neighborhood. At its core is Dawad Thomas, who opened a business here and wanted to see the neighborhood cleaned up. Now, kids make $12.50 an hour for about five hours a week to clean up their neighborhood. Community cleanup, that happens probably three or four days a week. Now, on Saturdays, we meet as a group and we clean the whole Penn Lucy, which is like maybe 20 blocks and we clean the whole penalty, we have a group of kids, but on the weekdays, we do touch-ups. The city took notice of their work and Recreation and Parks built this new court. We haven't had a new court in 49 years. That's the last time we had a court, so it's like a big deal. 16-year-old Gerard Johnson was one of the first kids in the program. He sets an example for younger kids. Basically, show them because I can speak louder than words. So if they see me doing it, they won't want to go out and sell drugs and stuff like that. So this room right here is we're going to have computers in this room. Now, like Thomas is building a center for kids to learn skills while they do jobs around the city. It's a blueprint for other communities to, to model. And, you know, and I've noticed around the city other people's starting to do it. On Sunday, they have a community event centered around the court, bringing people of all ages together to celebrate the shining light in their neighborhood. And then at 1 o'clock is the showtime, baby. It's the, it's the old, old York Road legends, myself and my friends, against all these guys, against all the young guys, you know. So it's like we got this new court. We got we to gotta hand it to them, you know, like we're going to put it in a nice gift wrap. They're gonna take. Hand it to them. They're gonna. Gotta, you still gotta, no, we're gonna. We're gonna literally <laughs> hand it to them, right? We're gonna give them that nice L. Yeah. And it's just a big. It's 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 um it's a community builder because we get to invite all the people from the past to meet all these young people, and that's bridging the gap. I was out there for a couple of hours today, and I couldn't believe they didn't recruit me for that Legends game. They must not have seen my jump shot tonight. This is a nonprofit, though, my father's plan. They need some help to raise funds for their new center. So if you want to help, we've got links on our website, WMAR2news.com. And if you want to come out to the event on Sunday, we've got all the information. It starts at 11 a.m. this Sunday. So hopefully I'll see you out there. Live in downtown Baltimore, Eddie Kadem, WMAR2news.